Hello everybody and welcome to Matt Fryer Golf. So I'm down at True Fit Golf Centre today and I'm here to talk to you about impact. So what is impact? Generally a lot of the people that I teach have a little bit of a misunderstanding about impact. Now this is with an iron guys that we're talking about today. So one of the things that we're trying to do when we hit a golf ball with our iron is obviously get the ball up in the air. So a lot of the um, people I have um, the lessons have this misconception that we have to help it up by scooping it or leaning back and helping this ball up by flicking it up in the air which is not what we want to be doing. By this, this misconception can lead to some swing flops which in turn are going to make some uh, poor shots come out when we're playing. Um, what we tend to see you know, from a lot of the uh, guys that I teach is when they get down into impact as they're at the moment of truth they're tending to um, lean back as they're hitting it in an attempt to try and help it up. We see that the shaft is actually leaning behind the golf ball here as they're coming in to hit it. So through that we tend to see some hitting of the ground beforehand or we get the thins where they've cocked too early and released too early and you get the thin or the fat. And also, like I say, we get planted on the back foot because we're leaning back trying to scoop this golf ball up. So. It's not ideal, obviously, through that misconception, you're gonna hit some poor shots. So what is it we're actually trying to look for at impact? Now, we're gonna discuss three things that I want you to try and notice when you're making your practice swings or doing any range work or you're looking at some videos of yourself that are gonna be good indicators whether you are getting a better impact position. So firstly, we're gonna talk about the golf club, the shaft. Where do we want it? Where do we want it leaning when we're actually hitting some shots? If you look at any great player on tour, or any player on tour really, they all swing the golf club differently, all move it in a different way. You know, if you were to look at Adam Scott to Jim Furyk, two very different ways of swinging the golf club. But when they get down to impact, there's not too much difference. There's quite a few similarities there. One of the things that we do tend to see in all these good players, like we said earlier, they're trying to compress the golf ball. So we notice now that the shaft's actually leaning towards the target. It's not back behind the golf ball, away from the target, scooping it up. It's like I say, leaning out in front of the golf ball towards the target, so it's able to deliver a blow that is downwards and can get the ball first, compress it, and then take a little divot and help that ball up in the air that way. The first point you want to be noticing guys when you get down to impact is your shaft behind the golf ball leaning back away from the target or is it in front now leaning towards the target we want some shaft lean towards the target so we can hit down on the golf ball so when when you're making some practice swings what you want to be doing is making a few and just stopping at impact and just seeing that now that your hands are in front of the golf ball, which in turn is gonna get that shaft lean. So just have a few where you come down slowly and stop and create this position where we've got the hands in front and we're not stopping and letting them get out behind the golf ball now. Getting out here and sitting behind it. So that's your first point that you want to be looking for. Secondly, talked about leaning back. We see a lot of people as they come through through this conception of trying to help the golf ball up, they get the shaft leaning backwards and they get onto the back foot, so all the weight, the weight um, gets planted into the trail foot, so your right foot if you're a right-handed golfer, so the back here, and they've got all the weight here, and they end up just scooping up at it. Again, not what we want to be seeing, really. What we want to be seeing, again, if you look at any of those great tour players, you'll notice They've got this trail foot now is starting to roll into their instep. So the heel will be coming up off the ground and the outside of the foot is peeling off away from the ground. So it's gonna free up the rest of the body that we'll get to in the moment to be able to rotate. So again, when you're having these slow practice swings, come down, stop, shaft lean in front. And let's start to see now that the trail foot is starting to get off the ground a little bit. It's not planted to the ground so we could get some shaft lean but we still don't want to see that this is planted this right foot we're going to get it up off the ground for us so we come down stop at impact shaft lean yes foot off the ground yes good that's what we want thirdly third point i want you to look at guys what are your hips and chest doing again when we see this 
planted right foot, we tend to see that a lot of the people that we teach are very square onto the golf ball. So from down the line, you'll be able to see that as I come in here, that I'm actually staying square on. We want to see some rotation of the trunk. So if you look at someone like McElroy, when he's hitting the ball, so he's got very quick hips. So as he's actually coming into impact, his hips have already cleared out of the way. So again, when you're coming down into impact in these slow practice swings, Let's try and make sure that our hips have rotated past square on now, so they're not still facing the golf ball still. They're starting to turn out of the way. So we have our shaft lean, right foot up, and now we've got our hips turning out of the way. And also the chest will be rotated, but not as much as the hips, only marginally. Just a little bit of rotation in the chest. We want to see more rotation in the hips. So when you run through it, guys, you'll be going slowly down, Shaft lead towards the target, seeing that the trail foot's up and seeing that we've got some rotation in the hips now. Those are the points that we want to be looking for. What we don't want, shaft lean back behind the golf ball, a planted right foot and hips still square onto the golf ball. Guys, it's an interesting video that and hopefully it will clear up some myths and beliefs that you have about impact and help you look and create a better impact position. I hope it has helped you guys. Do go and have a rehearsal of these and the more slow rehearsals you do and get an image of it, if you can do it in front of a mirror, you're gonna be better off and your mind will be able to actually get an idea of what it's trying to create and you'll be able to create that a bit easier. So guys, hope that tip has helped you. Give it a thumbs up if it has. Comment down below if it has helped you and comment if you had some thoughts that you, that's totally not what you thought it was. Also, do subscribe to the channel. Lots more tips and some more tips on these impact positions and drills that you can do to help create those things that we've talked about coming up. So do click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of those. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you with more videos soon.